it going guys? This is Billy with Archangel Art Studios, back with another pour. But before we get started, my grandson has given me something, and uh, well, I'll show you. Now, before anybody laughs, this meant a lot to my grandson. He gave me a mutilated one-eyed wonder monkey because my shop is 50 feet away from my house and he said grumpus yes i said grumpus that is what my grandchildren call me he said grumpus i don't want you alone when you're down there so i want you to have this sock monkey but he made me promise him that i was going to name it well i'm fresh out of names for one-eyed sock monkey so I figured I'd throw it out to y'all. Leave some comments and let's name this monkey. And that way my grandson will be happy that the the mutilated one-eyed wonder monkey there has a, a name. He said it could be your your shop monkey, Grumpus. It could be the Archangel mascot. So that's the Archangel mascot. Enough of that. Today, as you can see, I've already primed the the board in pink and I got some new colors I got this new Mayron silver we're gonna be using it this isn't new but Bombay white India ink and I put a little alcohol in it and I also put a little alcohol in the Mayron and then I've had these for a while and I just haven't used them and we're gonna use them I've got some PBO prism fantasy we're using emerald Some PBO Fantasy Moon in metal blue and Prism Fantasy in Onyx. Don't know what it's going to look like, but we're going to try. So, no more chit chat. Let's get to pouring. Well, hope it turns out as I say about all my paintings you know you just never know what you're gonna get I go into it with an idea of what I want and it seems like it's a great idea but it doesn't necessarily always come out the way you have it in your head resins seem to have a way of doing their own thing and I know there's some artists out there that would say, well, you're just not good enough to get them to do what you want them to do. Well, that's probably true. So, with that being said, we're just going to try to get it to do something. And this is that new Mayron Silver. I'm excited to try this. We're just pouring. I really honestly didn't go into this one with any type of idea of what I wanted. I just, you know what's crazy? If you guys, Monica Barnes Art, and I am i don't know if I've mentioned her before. I think I did. She's the one that turned me on to these little plastic deals, and I love them. Thank you, Monica. But I watch a lot of her videos, and she makes it look so easy. She just, I see... Or start out and I'm thinking, well, Monica, you done went and done it. That don't, I don't see that going nowhere. And then all of a sudden it's like, bam, you know, there's something awesome there. And if you guys haven't seen her stuff, Monica Barnes Art, she's got a lot of videos on YouTube. Awesome. Check her out, honestly. For all you new people out there, if you guys are watching me for tips and advice, woo, good luck with that. I can show you how to make a bunch of mistakes. I'm good at that. But you guys really need to watch some of these. You know, I'm sure you guys already have Artists Till Death, 
Monica Barnes, Rita Kiss. There's so many out there. I couldn't, you know, I could be here all night just naming these great artists much, 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 much better than I. But you guys should watch them. Like I said, some of these artists are, they make it look so effortless. And Monica has got a, a big old dog. It looks like a Great Dane. So how can you not like somebody that has a dog, man? I'm a dog, people. I like dogs. clear too to create these 3D effects and no, I don't think I'm gonna get any clearer of this. No, we're not. And it's really cool. She does stuff like I said, it's really impressed with her stuff. Wow man. I don't know if you can see as soon as the heat hit that silver it just like crystallized almost. It looked it really turned real silvery. That's pretty cool. Well, I think I'm going to take the hair dryer on this one. See what we can get out of that. Everybody right now is going, what? No, you're going to trash it. How can you trash something that you just don't have any idea what direction you're going? Alright. Let's break out the big gun. should have tilted and got some design out of it I guess. Mm -hmm. We'll put a happy little tree right over here. Or not. And as I've said before, you know, we're getting more subscribers and more people are watching our videos and we're thankful. I really am thankful. That's awesome. Someday when I take over YouTube, I'm going to remember all of you. <laughs> yeah, right. Well... Now, I know these PBOs, once you let them sit, they really start doing stuff on their own. Um, that's the whole idea behind them, is to leave them alone, right? Do what you're going to do, and then just leave them alone so they can do their own thing. But, you know me, I got a medal, I just can't leave nothing alone.
pieces that I can't say that I care for right now. Well, you know, I've seen people say, you know, hey, leave the PBOs alone, put them on, let them do what they're going to do. So, we're going to do that. I'm going to let it sit there, even though I really don't care for the way it looks right now. Hopefully those PBOs are going to impress me, and they're going to just magically turn into something awesome. But, you know what I say, they don't, who cares, I just gotta put on some resin over it, I ain't afraid to do that. asking me you really need to do videos where everybody can see it um, honestly really not interested in that I don't you know nobody's tuning in to see me they're looking to see a resin art piece get done you know if you want to know about me I'll tell you about me I'm an old fat man with grandchildren that lives in North Carolina. And there's my bio. Well, the more I look at this, I actually kind of like it. Maybe those PBOs are going to turn into something pretty cool. Tell you one thing about myself. I'm a Christian man. I love the Lord. I love my family and I love my church. A lot of people don't stand up for what they believe in anymore. I think that's a sad thing. I'm not trying to take a resin art video and turn it into a preaching sermon. But I am who I am. And if you tune in to watch me, you know, you might want to know who you're watching. Like I said, I'm a Christian man. I'm going to reference the Lord probably a lot of times throughout my videos here in the future. You know, not that I'm trying to turn it into, a, like I said, church or anything like that, but can't be afraid to mention the name of the Lord, if you, especially if you love Him, you know. Well, I think I'm done with this. Can't exactly tell you how I feel about it. You know, let it dry and we'll see. And uh, I'll give you a close-up. Hold on. Hold on to your knickers. It's about to get bumpy. All right. If you guys have watched my videos, you know my camera skills are on point. Tell you what, that Mayron Silver, that's pretty cool. I think that looks pretty good. I can eat. Go through all of it just hit a couple of the high points maybe if there is some high points in here this corner up here looks pretty neat that's pretty cool it's really starting to change a lot like i said i've had those pbos for a little bit and i guess just decided to use them All right. Well, focus. And there it is. 
another one from Archangel Art Studio. Hope you guys like it. Always, if you do, please subscribe. Leave some comments. You know, that galaxy pour I did was from a subscriber. Said, so do a galaxy pour, so we done it. If there's something you want to see, something that maybe you don't want to waste some resin in trying, but you want to see if it works, leave a comment. Tell me. Chances are I'll do it. Without a doubt. I don't care. I'll try it. And, uh, you know, visit our webpage. Follow us on Instagram. And, as always, God bless. Take care of each other. See ya!